guys, welcome to a fun snacktastic adventure. Uh, well, this is kind of a 4th of July snack adventure, even though you're gonna be seeing this after the 4th of July. Uh, still counts, still counts. It's still celebrating. We found some fun 4th of July ish snacks to ish, try. Yeah, ish. Um, and we're going to taste them. That's what we're gonna <laughs> do. Without further ado, Kelly, why don't you introduce the snack that you got? All right. Well, I was shopping down the aisles of the new Aldi near me. Uh, sorry. <gasps> Lidl. Rephrase. Re Whoa. <laughs> that hurts. She loves Lidl so much that she just mispronounced they're, it. They're brothers. So, okay. So I was shopping at Lidl and I stumbled upon these Kool-Aid sour gummies. They literally are in the shape of a little Kool-Aid man. And there's three flavors, Tropical Punch, Cherry, and Grape. And that's something I've never tried before, plus Kool-Aid is so good. So why not try the sour candy version of it? So yeah, let's get into it. And also it has a little thing saying sour meter is off the charts, so we'll uh, be the ones is to determine that, yeah. Is it? Have you had the sour Kool-Aid jammers before? Oh yeah, the drinks! Oh my god, I just forgot about the Kool-Aid juice boxes in general, like oh my god. Because I've, I had them. I used to. I would actually put it in a mixed drink with vodka. Ah, um, they're okay. Lovely. They're they're definitely just sugar That's, and food coloring. Mm -hmm. But um, but I wouldn't call them that sour though. No, no, not really. Just to establish before we try these. I mean, there's three flavors, yes. right? Yeah. Uh, what are those flavors? Tropical punch, cherry, and grape. Okay. And now we're gonna have our sour scale, one ah, to five, yes. which we had in the sour. Brawl. The most sour candy we've had, we said, what was it? The, uh, d -d 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 Those hard balls. The... <laughs> uh, wow. the sour balls. The... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Barnett's yes. Mega Sours. I think that was, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> that is the Wait, most sour, so that'd be the five. Get so. The red first, maybe? Get the cherry red. first, and then. Sure. We'll try each flavor okay. here and see which one is the most sour of them. All right, there, there we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. So far. Just Kool-Aid. Yeah. It tastes like Kool-Aid. It does taste like Kool-Aid with a little. The cherry one. It's it's like the Sour Jack, yeah. so it's at a one right it's now. A one. We're going with the grape, right? Yep. That sounds good. Mm. Not sour, but. <gasps> Artificial grape. That's. Mm -hmm. Nah, I have high hopes for the blue. Always love the Sometimes blue. Those can trick you me, said you that's know? tropical punch. Oh. Yeah, not blue be... raspberry, no. Oh. Yeah. That's different. Mm -hmm. Disappointment. That was very disappointing. <laughs> Overall, the cherry one is the most sour, I think. Yeah, I wouldn't even. Which. The word sour doesn't really fit describing no, these. No, uh, not uh, There shouldn't be a sour meter. It's their sour meter is literally broken, not <laughs> off the scale. To the, what'd you say it was again? To the max off or the off charts, the charts? Yeah. It's yeah, it's off the charts because it doesn't even register. <laughs> I mean, even for a kid, that's not sour. No. No. They just put these little crystals on it and make it call it sour. That's disappointing. Come on, Kool Aid. Yeah, I mean, they do taste pretty similar to Kool Aid. Oh no. <laughs> That's it. They remind me of those, um, bubble my throat. What are those drinks that you had to like twist that little thing off the top of it? And it was like, came in a little the plastic. The squeeze tubes? Yeah, those. Oh, they had the little faces on them. Do you remember that? Oh, maybe it was did. so far. That was like I was in first grade. It was like these little. Had it had this on. little lid that was like shaped like that, and you had to like crack yeah, it yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah those were, they still have those, like. but they don't have the faces on. Leroy, well. take us on to our more Fourth of July ish snack. Absolutely. I just happened to find these. They are firework Oreos. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, say, can you see? Wait, is that the right song? That's the national anthem. Okay. <laughs> Probably there's some other song. Oh, the Pledge of Allegiance. Baby, like a fire fire That's a good one. What makes these special is they have what I imagine is similar to Pop Rocks in them. It's with popping candy. 
That's where you get the fireworks. Pop, pop, fizz, fizz. No, that's not So, right. I'm gonna guess, I don't even know if we're gonna taste anything other than a normal Oreo. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna find out. And of course, we're gonna see if it actually pops. Pops in the mouth. Smells like a normal Oreo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bottoms, there's no bottom to the circle. <laughs> There it is. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had to throw the whole thing in your mouth to get that full effect. Okay, Oreo. I kind of like what you did there, especially like for the fourth. What a cute idea! Yeah, it's little pop. It's like pop rocks and Oreos. Mm -hmm. It just tastes like a normal Oreo. It's not like a fruity thing. Yeah, it doesn't or anything. take away from the flavor. No. Really, that'd be fun to bring to parties for sure, yeah. like Fourth of July parties. Yeah. Well, now Fourth of July is over. I guess the. Well, yeah. Hmm. Mm. Um, get them next year. Get them for New Year's. Come for a party. Just a party in general. You don't have to say that they're fireworks. In fact, just... don't even tell anybody what they are. That was Put them on a platter it. and like, oh, Oreos. That would be hilarious. Do if that. anybody does that, be sure to tell us in the yeah, comments below. Video Post the videos. Right there. That would be hilarious. That'd be awesome. Just like, what's happening in my mouth? Mm -hmm. We might have to try that on some people. Mix it in with some regular Oreos too, so they're not like, they really start freaking out, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm still popping. Pop pop yeah, pop for pop real. Pop. They're still going in there. Mm -hmm. well, this has been some fun 4th of July snacks. Mm -hmm. Wow, they're really still popping. Yeah, oh it's, it's still going. Kool Aid and, and Oreos, that's a, a fun snack. Mm -hmm for 4th of July. Oreo's done some really cool things, I feel like, done flavor wise and all that, but this is pretty cool. Oh that's... God, well, that's our cue. <laughs> we bought these fireworks illegally, <laughs> so. Today is a very special day uh, for our cousin Juliana, who's Ooh. probably outside of Kelly, the most reoccurring guest star we've had on the show. Love her so much. She is so entertaining to have. She's a wonderful cousin as well. Yes, indeed. Yes, so, indeed. In honor of that, we've got a quick montage of some of Juliana's best moments in Snacktastic history. Roll the tape! Can you wash your hands or something? Alright, let's eat! <laughs> <laughs> wow! It tastes like Christmas! <laughs> Certainly, I'm making it dramatic! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bored! Oh! <laughs> so, Jules, what is now? <laughs> Jules, what's the next snack? Uh, that is delicious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so many different flavors, I didn't like that. I didn't, oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, it's not me. It's not for me. Yeah. Mm. God. I didn't work with bubbles. You're a You didn't flash. <laughs> if it hasn't hit yet, it will. <laughs> oh, I no, chip. went down. I chip. I chip. Oh, we'll go down. Okay. Let me get her. Oh, no, don't breathe. <sighs> oh, no. Oh, boy, I read it. I'm gonna go wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> boy, those were a doozies. Wow, just great, great times. <laughs> yes. Happy birthday, Juliana. Happy, happy, happy birthday. We look birthday. forward to having you on more snack-tastic adventures. Yes, many, many more. And many, many more. And until next time, keep, keep on, on snacking. snacking. Fireworks. <laughs> Thanks so much for snacking with us. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Also, hit that bell button so you don't miss any snacktastic adventures. So if you haven't already, you should check out our snack shop. Mugs, t-shirts, and aprons galore. Anything you want to find, check it out at our snacktastic store. Also, would you like to produce an episode and pick out our next snack? Check out uh -huh. our Amazon snack wish list. Link down below. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next snack -ta
fantastic adventure. Woo!